YouTube, Watchify here with another video. Today I have my Seiko Mini Turtle model SRPC37J1 that I wanted to go over. It's a 200 meter ISO rated diver in the Seiko Prospects line. I got mine pre-owned from a seller on eBay and it came with this strap code bracelet, uh, but it did not include the OEM silicone strap that this watch comes with out of the box, but here's what that looks like. I'd say this is a great watch if you really like the regular turtle case shape but find its 45mm case size too large for your wrist. Case dimensions are 42mm case size, the lug to lug distance is only 43mm, thickness is 13mm and the lug width is 20mm. You can see how the case slopes downwards on the sides which is a hallmark of the turtle case shape and one of the reasons why this watch wears so small on wrist. When viewing the case from above, you can see the distinctive circular shape as well. In terms of finishing, the case is polished on the sides, between the lugs, and underneath the case. The top of the bezel and the screw-down unsigned crown are also polished. The other areas of the watch have a satiny brushed finish. The crown on the Mini Turtle is at the 3 o'clock position as opposed to the 4 o'clock position on regular Turtle models. The crown is a good size and there are no crown guards. The screw down case back has the familiar Seiko wave pattern and other wording and information on it. What's interesting is you'll find the wording air divers 200 meters on the case back rather than just divers 200 meters. And finally in regards to the case you do get drilled lug holes on this model. The 120 click unidirectional bezel isn't the easiest to rotate on my model. It's quite stiff and the small shallow grooves in the bezel don't help too much in providing a firm grip. The aluminum bezel insert is the standard Seiko style with numerals every 10 minutes and dots in between. There's an arrow marker at 12 which has an embedded loom pip. The flat Harlex crystal sits below the bezel insert and offers good clarity. This model has a round cyclops above the date window. And I know some people don't like having cyclops due to it causing dust to collect around it, but overall it's something that I like to see and it really helps with date visibility. The dial is a matte black dial with mostly tombstone shaped indices that are loom filled. As expected, the loom on this watch is very strong and glows bright. The unframed date window is at 3 showing the white date wheel. And the Seiko logo is printed along with the Prospects logo automatic and divers 200 meter wording in white. There is a black chapter ring with white minute marks surrounding the dial and luckily I'm pretty pleased with the alignment. The loom filled hands are in silver and are the standard turtle shape as is the seconds hand. The seconds hand on the side with the loom pip is blacked out and it blends in with the dial which gives the effect that the loom pip is floating above the dial which is pretty cool. This watch has Seiko's now ubiquitous entry level 4R35 movement inside which offers hacking, hand winding and a 41 hour power reserve. The watch is keeping great time. Um, when I put it on my time grapher though, I can see that it has a one millisecond beat error, but since the watch is running so accurately, I'm not gonna mess with it. There was some talk about whether the Mini Turtle would take up the mantle of Seiko's go-to affordable 42 millimeter isolated diver from the now discontinued SKX model. I don't think that actually happened though, as the Mini Turtles cost between $350 to $500 at the time of this video. So definitely not the value proposition that the SKX line was once famous for. There are several variations of the Mini Turtle you can buy which include a black dial with a Pepsi bezel, a blue dial, a black PVD version, a patty version, and a really nice looking green dialed model. There are also some rare or limited edition colorways out there. The Mini Turtle doesn't seem to get much fanfare and promotion as Seiko's other models. For example, I couldn't even find one listed on Seiko's website under their Prospects lineup section. It looks like the most recent version of this watch is the Frost Blue Dialed SBDY109 with its white bezel insert. I haven't modded this watch in any way and I'm happy with the way it looks out of the box. Out of curiosity, I recently started looking around for pre-owned 38mm SKX013s and found that many of them have been modded. I found that if I were to buy one, I'd personally like to get one that's been unmodified, so now I'm starting to think that modding a watch potentially harms its resale value more than it helps. I'm curious what your thoughts are, so feel free to comment below. 
This watch looks great on the variety of straps, especially NATO straps. There's a limited amount of Seiko 200 meter Prospex divers that are 42 millimeters and below in size, so I kind of wish Seiko did more with the Mini Turtle line. However, current pricing is a bit too high for the specs in my opinion, especially when there's so many options available from the likes of Orient or other micro brands at far less cost. On a related note, I saw that Seiko recently released a 200 meter solar Prospex model which seems interesting, but again, the high MSRP of $475 is a bit puzzling to me. So I think that'll be it for this video. I wanted to thank you for watching. If you found it interesting, feel free to leave a like, comment, or subscribe. And I hope to see you in another video.